What's going on? How y'all doing out there? Everything's all right? All right? All right. I am Mona Lee. And I'm here to talk to you guys to let you know what's going on with Connect Tones. Because I know some of y'all saw the first episode and y'all was like, who the hell is high? So, I know y'all already know about the AC kids fighting on Earth and protecting the world from Dr. Nezzo and the, the haters of the Legion and so forth and so on. Yada, yada, yada. Boogoo. Let me let y'all know about this. There is also another group of heroes. We are called gnomes, ninjas of the mind. Very classy name I know. Get in. And, um, you know, everybody has a bad side and a good side to themselves. Whenever somebody's deciding on whether or not they should do something or they shouldn't do something, there's an evil and a good side giving them pointers. Mm-hmm. Believe it or not, the energy that you put out into the world manifests in the minds, creating gnomes. Goo. But depending on how far you go with the negative or the positive energy will determine what kind of gnome you create. Believe it or not, but Mona has a good gnome. I know, right? Crazy. I'm Mona Lee. Mm -hmm. You saw me in the first episode of season three of Connect Tunes? Get in. And along with my boy, Eow Twan Lee, we are after the evil Shang Misha. Misha has an evil gnome. Majestics are typically the only ones that can actually have their subconscious manifest in the real world. But I've heard of, you know, some stories where mutants and man-maids have their subconscious manifest. Not to say that they're originals, but you know, everybody copies. Shang Misha is a very powerful, evil gnome. Girl, and we always be whooping her ass up in um, <laughs> our world. But you know, she's found a way. To come to Earth. And so, me and Tuamali is going to have to kick her ass into your world. Alright. So that's what's going on. After the last battle in the last episode of Season 2 of Connect Tunes. I know y'all be watching us. I mean, really. Chinese men made everybody go to sleep. Tuan and Mona kicked his ass. Because I love Mona Lee and Tuan Lee. Goo. But Misha wasn't able to wake up. We kind of figured that Shang Misha is keeping Misha asleep so that, you know, she can manifest herself into the real world. But that's why we're here. I mean, goo. Shang Misha better recognize how she better motherfucker recognize. The only catch is that me and Tuan Lee won't be able to stay in this world unless Mona and Tuan actually stay asleep. Girl, it's going to be difficult because I know Mona Ass is stubborn and I know Twan is stubborn as well. I mean, I don't even know why. Ugh, oh, girl. Mona Lee, let them just watch the damn show. If they didn't see the previous seasons, oh well. Girl, besides, I'm ready to get my light. Mm -hmm. Let's go kick Shane Misha's ass. Girl, I'm ready if your ass motherfucking ready. Let's do this. Girl, I just love traveling with you, boo. <laughs> Where the hell at? We've been fighting together for a long time. Mona Lee. Girl, you know you my sis. To be honest, I don't even understand why Mona and Twine don't get along. I mean, they are so alike. I know, right? I mean, they fight all the time. I couldn't imagine fighting you, boo. You're like my sis. Something is wrong. I'm not picking up Shang Misha's trace anymore. Twan, are you? Oh, girl. Now that you mention it, I don't smell her anymore. Hmm. It's kind of weird, you know. I never thought that I would be able to lose the scent of old pussy. Girl, what do y'all do to clean it? Because that should be stinking sometimes. Twan, you're stupid, boo. But no, seriously, focus. Focus. I'm not feeling her energy. And I'm not liking this. Girl. Mm. I'll go check it out. Twan, wait. <clears throat> damn it. I hate him when he does this shit. Girl. This damn boy always flying up somewhere. God damn it. He came up fucking stand still. Good, but I still lie. Oh, 
Jesus, now I gotta fucking do this by myself. What the fuck is going on? I know your ass is out there. Show yourself, bitch. I can sense you. No, seriously, I can sense your dumb ass. So I suggest you appear in front of me right motherfucking near. I don't want to have to hurt you, motherfucker. Mm. Wait, what? Hold up. Aren't you a ninja of the three blades? What the fuck are you doing here? I haven't sitting here to kill. <laughs> really? Well, you're going to have a problem with that one. Holy, holy oxen free. Your punk ass can come up now. Girl. Mm. I don't like being in the woods in the dark. It's too much that can happen. Hmm. Did you really think that you could sneak up against me? Too slow! Hey! Get down cut the clocks, bitch! But you will never get me with a move like that! Your efforts are worthless. You will die, scum. Yeah, we'll see about that. Take that! Ah! Hmm. You think you're gonna get away from me? I like chasing men. So, you come into this world thinking that you can control everything. Hmm. I don't think anything. I know. See, that's the difference between you and I. <laughs> I will take over, and you will be my pet. Power hungry bitches like you make me laugh. You see, I'm laughing. Dr. Nezzo will not like this. Dr. Nezzo! <laughs> Where is he, by the way? I want to meet him now! Dr. Nezzo is... Mm, gay. You don't have a chance with him. You wouldn't happen to be lying to me, would you? I hate liars. Uh, Besides, I can just cast a spell on him, and he will be mine. Do you honestly think that that will work? Dr. Nezo is a man-made. Spells don't really work on him. Besides, Dr. Nezo is in Puerto Rico right now. He's not coming back anytime soon. Great. Then that gives me time to take over. I have the AC kids right where I want them. Their subconscious will be gone soon. And with them brain dead. I will rule the this world uh, This is why I hate when women are in charge. Yeah.